Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashwini and today we are going to see the next lab program of first PUC computer science. I'll open Turbo C++. Click on start Turbo C++. I'll go to file and open a next program. Our next program is discount program. Okay. First let us understand what is the program. Then we I'll explain you the program. Before that problem statement I'll just tell you overall. So in this program it's like you're going for a shopping and if you purchase more than 1000 rupees product you'll get 8% of discount. If you purchase less than 1000 you're not going to get any discount. If you are purchasing more than 1000 rupees you'll get 8% of discount. So that is what program is. So here you can see the problem statement, the first line, write a C++ program to input the total amount in a bill. So first line, it's clear that you are going to input a total amount. So for that, whatever the C out and C in statement you require, that you have to write. Then you have a if condition. If the amount is greater than 1000, here you have. If the amount is greater than 1000, then you are going to get 8% of discount. Otherwise, no discount is given, they have told. Next point 3 is, you need to output the total amount, discount you get and the final amount that has to be paid. So, first step is, you need to input the total amount. Next, if the amount is greater than 1000, then you are going to get 8% of discount or else you are not go going to get any discount. The last step is, you need to output the total amount, discount given and total amount that has to be paid by the user. So, these are the three things you are going to display. It. That is your C out statements at the last then they have given use simple if statement so you are going to use simple if statement so let me divide and tell you so before that i'll mark this as a comment line if you give double slash it will become comment line and the compiler will not compile these these three lines when you give this double line so first step is writing the header files, the required header files. So here you need two header files, iostream.h and conio.h. What is a header file? I have already explained in my starting videos. Please go back and see the starting videos. I have made a playlist called tutorial for C++ for beginners. So go back and see the tutorial so that you will understand what is a header file and you will understand how to write a program. Okay, coming back, first two lines are header files. Iostream.h is used whenever you use C out and C in in your program, you need to add this particular header file. Next one is conio.h. So, console input output, it means. So, whenever you use get ch and clr hcr in your program, at that time you need to add this particular header file. Next comes the main function. Inside the main, you are going to declare the variables here you can see next I'm just dividing the okay so here you can see I have divided few things so that you'll understand the program easily so void main whatever you write inside the main function those are the main thing in your program so this main function 
tells the compiler that the main program starts inside this particular function. So that is what main inside the flower braces you are going to write. Next is I told you the first line inside the main function will always be a declaration, declaration of a variable. So here which are the variables you need? So here you have the first variable input the total amount. So here t amount is nothing but total amount. We have declared it in floating point because the total amount can be 500 rupees 50 paisa 30 paisa so whatever the 0.5 paisa is there or 0.50 paisa is there that is a floating point number so considering that we have declared a float has a data type data type space the first variable comma next you are going to give a discount so discount has a variable next you have final amount F amount that is final amount so here you can see output total amount discount and final amount so those are the variables we have given here that is we are declared it at the end you have to give a semicolon CLR SCR that is clear screen you are going to clear the output screen previous output screen so next step is see here to input the total amount in a bill so first step is you need to input total amount so the first two lines is for that see out enter the total amount so you are going to give a scene statement this scene statement will input the value from the keyboard so see in total amount you are going to enter the amount so this is about you have entered the total amount next is if the amount is greater than 1000 then 8% of discount is given so next step is you need to check whether the total amount is greater than 1000. So for that you are using simple if. Simple if is nothing but if condition and you have few lines of or one or two lines of statements you have. So same way here initially we have given discount is equal to 0. You are going to set discount is equal to 0. Initially you don't have any discount unless and until you confirm whether the total amount is greater than 1000 so initially the discount is 0 if total amount is greater than 1000 this is the simple if statement if condition condition is total amount that is your entered whatever you enter whether that is greater than 1000 you are going to check with this if statement if it is greater then you are going to give a discount see here if it is greater than 1000, a discount of 8% is given. So, 8% of discount is given. How to calculate discount? The formula is discount is equal to 8 divided by 100 into total amount. That will be the discount for you. 8 divided by 1000 into the total amount, whatever the result you get, that will be your discount amount. If it is 10% here, so 10 divided by 100 into total amount whatever the value you get that will be the discount if it is 20 percent then 20 divided by 100 into the total amount whatever the answer you get that will be the discount so that is about a discount if condition then you have one more formula okay this is how you are going to calculate the discount if the purchased amount is greater than 1000 next you are going to calculate the final amount why this final amount is required because you got 8% of discount now if you have purchased more than 1000 you have to get 8% of discount so to calculate that final amount is equal to total amount minus the discount here whatever you have calculated that will come here total amount is imagine you have given one, uh, 1100 rupees so total amount minus the discount whatever the discount you have calculated that should be minus by the total amount whatever the value you get after subtracting that will be stored in final amount so this is about calculating the final amount now you have calculated the discount you have calculated the final amount the last step is in the question you have told output the total amount discount and 
final amount. So you need to output. So to output you are going to use C out statement. For that C out total amount is equal to this is T amount is the variable. See here T amount whatever the value stored in T amount that will be printed in this particular statement. Next C out discount is equal to discount. So whatever the discount calculated that will be printed here. If there is no discount then discount is equal to 0. This will be printed. Okay. Then the final amount. Final amount is total amount minus the discount whatever the value you get that will be stored in F amount that will be printed here. So all the green is your variables. Here you can see this is in green variable. This is green variable. This is green. This is green. This is green. All these are variables. So remember that next get ch get ch will wait a key to press in the output screen till then it will be in the output screen itself so next thing is i'm going to save sorry i'll save it directly i can give f2 or else go to file and save the next thing is you need to compile it go to compile and click on compile check whether any errors are there if there is no error then you can go to run so click on run you will get an output screen so first I will enter less than 1000 uh, so I will give 900 rupees 900 see here ok something went wrong let us check some other input I will give 400 yes starting the variables it has given a garbage value do not worry about that again you run it then you will get a proper answer you can see total amount I have entered that is total amount that I have purchased is 400 total amount is 400 and final amount is 400 because we do not get any discount next step is calculating more than next condition I will give run I will give 1100 1100 enter so here you can see total amount is 1100 rupees I have purchased discount I have got for 8% it is 88 rupees final amount is 1100 minus 88 is 1012 rupees so that is what the final answer is I hope you understood how to take the output it is very simple first input the total amount then calculate the discount then calculate the final amount then print all the statements it is as simple as like that so if you understand how to write a program it will be very easy to do that is to write a program so if there is any errors do not worry about the errors go to the statement line like I have I uh, will give some braces I will remove this braces I will remove a semicolon here I will save it and I will run I am just showing the errors how to detect an error so here you can see expected closing braces expected braces in the line 16 press and enter key and here you can see the cursor here you can see a cursor it blinking here so it means that in this line there is round braces missing so I will give the round braces I will click on save I will click on compile the process should always go with like this first save then compile then run again I have an error in the statement 20 semicolon is missing so here you can see the cursor is blinking here it means that you need to go to the previous line and give a semicolon always semicolon error is like it shows in the next line so you need to go back to the previous line and give a semicolon so that is how other errors will give in the same line only the semicolon problem will show the line number 1 greater than a 
previous line like it shows one one line next so remember that so i'll i'll save it i'll compile it then i will run it if error free then you'll get the output screen i'll give 6000 here for 6000 the total amount is 6000 discount i have got is 480 rupees so total total amount i have to pay is 6000 minus 480 it is 5520 rupees so this is the program i hope you understood this particular program if you find this video helpful please share it with your friends and please don't forget to hit a like and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you